Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Hubble Hubble Loot. Welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Strictly Limited Games' first Nintendo Switch Collector's Edition, Fox and Forest. Only a thousand copies were made and I got my hands on one. Really excited about it because they come with nice Collector's Edition boxes compared to most of the other publishers that come out with Collector's Editions. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings like this one and more game reviews that are coming out in the future. But right now, let's get into this unboxing. All right, so we're getting into this Collector's Edition and what comes with it is a game for from Fox and Forest, the soundtrack CD, the art book, sticker sheet, poster, and a postcard set. And it was only for 49.99 euros, I think, and it would probably be like around 57, 60 dollars plus shipping is like 65 dollars for the whole collector's edition, which I think was actually a good pricing for this game. Um, ooh, now the box. Ooh, feels really great, guys. If you guys have a Thumbleweed collector's edition from Limited Run Games, ooh, and it's magnetic. Oh, uh, there's a little, uh, uh, stuff on the front. I don't really care about that, but ooh, and I'm really excited to get into this. I love this collector's edition box. Um, that sticker stuff, I'll try to like wash that out or something like that. Doesn't really appeal to me that much, but uh, I mean, I'm glad I got a hand on one of these boxes because they're really nicely made. So if you guys really didn't know about this game, the game itself was about a side-scrolling platformer where you can change the, the seasons anytime you wanted to in every single level and each season that changed opened up something different so let's get into this box and i'll talk more about the game later Ooh, let's see oh okay look at that guys Ooh, that is nice i love that little open art cover um it actually looks really great and it is 16 bits so it's nothing it's not going to look anything like this inside cover poster so you got the stickers right here we're going to show you guys that right at the start um and then you should have the poster right under that i'm pretty sure there you go. The poster's just one 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 sided poster. You got the three postcards, which I thought would actually be a little bit better, but uh, they're all of, ooh, okay, now they're a little bit better. Yeah, I didn't see the undercard ones, but uh, we'll get into those in a little bit. And then you got uh, more of the, ooh, collector's art book right here. Nice little uh, same on the uh, cover box. I like how it all flows together. Even the background on the postcards have the same color, like khaki tan. Here's the, uh, CD soundtrack, <laughs> I almost forgot what to call it in the first place. Uh, and apparently, my game fell out of its box, but it's supposed to come just like that. And that looks really nice. I really like that setup. Sometimes the games come on the front, but the back actually looks really nice just by itself. I can have everything else uh, out of the box itself. Okay, so I guess I really quickly we'll show you the sticker set again. Um, the first one, deer with a archer bow. Um, then you have the actual uh, Fox, the main character that you're playing as. And then I really loved, I saw the trailer for this, the 16-bit art style for all the bosses that they have. It is very different than most of the 16-bit uh, art styles that are coming out lately. And the gameplay itself is a little bit different, which I really liked. Okay, that was the sticker sheet right there. But then we're going to get into the poster right here. Only one side, remember. Um, but more talking about the game. Uh, apparently, the graphics are a lot different with the 16-bit style. Ooh, okay, okay, upside down. Uh, all right, I love that pigeon. You guys see that little pigeon right there? Oh my god, his facial expression is really funny. Um, but yeah, the fox character looks pretty aggressive, looks really nice. The poster's all right. Uh, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but at the same time, it's something to add on. So we're gonna get into this collector's edition CD, um, original soundtrack, and this was another thing people were talking about, uh, was the actual soundtrack in the game uh, was actually better than the graphics, some say. What I was listening to didn't really highlight any of the music, so I'm really excited to listen to this. Um, probably download it on my CD, but uh, I couldn't even use the sword anymore, man. Can't even do that. These CD, oh, they're all, uh, they're like anti-fat finger openers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. It looks a little bit like somebody just made it off of their computer by itself. Like the backside looks better than the front side, I would have to say that. Um, but bonus level entertainment, FBF, Wild River, and Strictly Limited all created this. You only got 19 songs on this compared to most other soundtracks that come with like 30 plus songs, I would about say, on average with every soundtrack. And um, we're gonna get into the opening right now. So we'll open up that CD cover for you. I can, there we go. So no inside cover art, very kind of lazy. They could have like reprinted something. Um, but this actually reminds me of like when you guys play like the old school, like 90s CD-ROM games. I'm really excited to listen to this music actually, because uh, everyone was saying how good the uh, soundtrack was on this game. 
Um, but we're gonna get into the postcards actually. I didn't even see those right there. The first one I saw was this like little B one and I was like, oh, okay, great, like a little B. Didn't really look too cool, but then I got flipping to the second and third ones and I was like, okay, they used up more of the card, they used up the bigger monsters and they used up like the nice cool graphics that they have. Um, even though it's not 16 bit, I really like them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm probably gonna save them with all the other art cards I get from like, uh, all the other publishers that just come with random boxes like the Dead Cells poster card and stuff like that. But uh, really cool poster cards, really fun. They have Fox and Forest on the back too. Um, they kind of look like just quiz question cards that you could just print something on. Um, just another edition. I didn't really care for it as much as the other things, but I guess we can get into the game right now because I'll show you guys the book later. Let's see. Okay, cool. Backside cover art's really nice. Definitely fills up everything. There's just that tiny white space on the bottom. Really doesn't matter that much. Kind of, kind of weird because usually that bottom space is usually covered, but more into the cover art. I wish it changed a little bit. I know the art in this game is really cool, so I was kind of disappointed that everything kind of had to do with the pigeon and the fox. I don't know what the pigeon has to do, but I know the fox is the main character of the game. So we're gonna open this game up for you guys. There you go. Oh, nice cover art. I haven't even seen it yet. Yep, big cover art, no manual. I was kind of surprised about that one with all the additions that they had for this game. Uh, no manual. But uh, the Fox and Force <laughs> game cartridge, guess what it is? Yep, same thing as the uh, rest of the cover art stuff. Um, something really not to talk about. I do love that inside cover. I mean, like, imagine that, like, on the inside cover of the CD soundtrack. It's just nice, easy printing. I guess it would cost, like, a couple dollars more, maybe. I don't know. But, like, it just add a little bit more instead of having, like, a giant white piece of paper, like, honest. Like, look at how, like, dull that looks. But... What are you gonna do? This was still a really good price for this collector's edition. So it's not like I'm really mad about it or anything like that. Um, I'm really excited to get into the game and the art itself, but we're gonna get into this art book, which I was really excited about. Really nice made hardcover. Um, uh, let's see how many pages there are. Can't even find a page number, just says art book. So we're gonna get into this art book, which I'm really excited about overall mostly because the key artwork of this, wow. Okay, well, I guess the, they use the same word I did, um, <laughs> is pretty much explained in this whole book. Uh, Fox and Forest, final poster artwork, the key artwork, Heroes and Helpers, the screenshot for the final game in 2018. Um, yes, okay, cool. Going over the characters, like, just different styles, concepts, and everything like that for Rick the Fox. <laughs> it's like a very, like, uh, gamer tag name, Rick the Fox. Final game sprites for, of Rick the Fox. Yeah, this is really cool. This is what I like, art books like this, especially for the price of this collector's edition, fits in great. Uh, final game sprites, game sprites. There you go, the badger. There you go, the pigeon. Finally, you get to see the, oh yeah, there you go. Tree concept, uh, villains and foes. That was really, really cool part I saw in the trailer. All the villains and foes looked really cool with the 16-bit art style that they were using. All this, oh my gosh, yeah, this looks really cool. I like. I like the style that they're doing without it in the art book itself with no 16-bit. Looks really nice. Like, if they did it both ways, I still would have liked the game. Caterpillar looks really funny. Uh, Vine Man. <laughs> Vine Man, you look like a scarecrow mixed with green goblin. Uh, Deer Hunter. Damn, okay. Yeah, these these are pretty, uh, pretty cool monsters, man. Ooh, and they even get more tree stuff. <laughs> He's got a tree hat. Oh, I guess it's to cover a stump. No, it's literally a stump. Is he a stump or is he just a tree? Like, what? I don't, <laughs> I don't get that one. Uh, dragonfly, plant frog, pumpkin, and use final enemy designs. Ooh, that bear would have been really cool, guys. I haven't seen a 16-bit bear in a game, like, ever, I guess. When do you see a 16-bit bear in a game? Huh. All right, let's see. Unused enemy designs. Ooh, this is like... This is the cool part where you're like, maybe they should have put this in the game or something like that. At the end of every season, a deadly boss awaits. Okay, so you got those. Okay, so you got a poster card of that deadly boss. And you got the frog boss. I guess you only have four bosses in this game. And those seem what to be on the poster cards. Yep, it looks like all those bosses were on the poster cards. Finally, unspoiler guys, the magic and items. Whew. Even the items look cool. In-game magic offense, this looks really cool. Levels and development. I liked how they got into it. 
I really want to go back and to, and read most of this stuff. Um, oh gosh, these prototypes. See, I like seeing this, guys. Like, this is what people who like back games up uh, really like seeing and stuff like that. I like how they just threw it in there with another art book. This is great, guys. More demo 2017 screenshots. Just more stuff of the game that they were fixing. Bonus level entertainment. All right, guys. Well, that was my unboxing for Fox and Force. Strictly limited games. First collector's edition for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there are only a thousand copies made, and I finally got my hands on one so I can unbox it for you guys. I really think it is worth the 49.99 euros, or I think it probably was like... 60 about US dollars, I guess at that point for the collector's edition box. The box itself is really nice. I'm kind of uh, shame that uh, the little scribble on the front happened, but uh, other than that, the game itself would probably be 30 or $35. On top of that, like you got a CD and an art book, really over its price for everything. I really liked it overall. Um, but what did you guys think about it? Do you guys think it's worth the price? Do you guys like this unboxing? Um, because I'm pretty sure these are going for about like 150 to $200 like on eBay plus. Like, and I was really like happy that I finally got one. Uh, my other ones from Strictly limited games are coming in soon so I'm excited to get those collector's edition boxes to compare this one because this is the first one so if you guys like this unboxing please subscribe to my channel for more unboxings that you'll have from all those other publishers that you come from Nintendo Switch I'll also have more game reviews in the future for the Nintendo Switch uh, if you guys like comment please about what this unboxing did for you guys do you guys think you want it or do you guys think it's not worth it I really appreciate you guys talking to me I love talking to you guys I hope you guys Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hubbleabaloo. I hope you guys enjoyed this boxing. I'll see you next time.